Good afternoon, everyone. Florida A&M's last chance to make some real hay at home for a while comes down tonight at Gaither Gym. The Rattlers host South Carolina State, a team they have already beaten once this season. They'll try for their 12th win of the year at 8 o'clock, and we'll have pictures tonight at 11 o'clock. Big game in the NBA last night, the rematch of the Boston-Atlanta game from last week, only this time it was on Atlanta's home floor. The Hawks' Mike Fratello will coach the East in the All-Star game, just beating out Boston's Casey Jones. And it looked like Atlanta would beat Boston as well early. Dominique with a steal away from Larry Bird, and he's coast in for the slam dunk. But Kevin McHale brought Boston back his favorite move, the little jump hook. Boston up by four at halftime. Second half, though, Dominique cranked it up again as long jumper added to his total of 38 on the night. And that's when the chief, Robert Parrish, took over. He saved half his 20 points for the fourth quarter. And that put back put Boston up for good. But this may have helped him win it. The breakaway to Danny Ainge. First, this walk wasn't called. And then the close call blocked by Dominique was called a goal 10. That's a close one, folks. The bucket stretched Boston's lead to five and put it out of reach, 102 to 97. Now to L.A., where the Lakers' Mike Smerick was saying, hey, get that stuff out of here to Utah's Carl Malone. The loose ball ends up in Magic's hands and he is off to the races. The bucket puts the Lakers up by 15 in the third quarter and then check the Magic show again. He'll take the fast break pass from Byron Scott to jazz him a man in the lane. Somehow he gets it to James Worthy for the easy layup. Then it was Magic one more time. He slapped on this shot but he has enough on it to somehow get it to crawl in the hole. Most of Magic's 22 are like that as the Lakers rip the Utah Jazz by 11. And that is a midday look at sports.